I can't thank you enough. Hold on. Tea bag. Actually, I can't tea bag. Stay safe, little lady. Don't text and drive. It's bad. Hobbies. I haven't done any of those. See ya, nerd. Bitch. Oh my god. <laughs> Forgot how much like idiots people drive in this game. Saying guy that drives like an idiot, but Come by for that drink you offered, that's all. I wasn't really serious about that. What? Uh, you're here, whatever. Sit. You're not gonna rob me again. Man, I never robbed you. That was just a repossession. <laughs> okay. You call it whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I really don't care. What can I do for you? Shit, I just came by to see if there's something I can help you with. I see you doing well for yourself. Look. I'm retired. Ain't you a bit young for the pipe, slippers, and staring at a fucking sunset? You know, I've been in this game for a lot of years, and I got out alive. That makes me the right age. <clears throat> you look like a good kid, but if you want my advice, you give the shit up. You work hard, screw over everybody that you love. Hurt, rob, kill indiscriminately, and maybe, just maybe, if you're lucky, you become a three-bit gangster. It's bullshit. Go to college. Then you can rip people off and get paid for it. It's called capitalism. <laughs> hmm. So what I saw the other day was like, when a corpse briefly reanimates itself and terrorizes everyone, right? What you saw the other day was a guy dealing with pests. I guess I never saw myself as just a fucking pest. Well... And today's lesson's all about humility. Tomorrow we'll try a training montage. A training what? Nothing. I was just lost in an 80s movie fantasy. <laughs> yeah, I can see you spend a lot of time there. Yeah, as much as I can. So that's why you're here in Vinewood then, right? Maybe I'm here because I'm just an idiot who thinks that imported palm trees are a good substitute for not really knowing what the fuck you're doing on this earth. Jesus, man. You a good time, you know that. I tell you what, <sighs> least I can do is buy you that beer. There's a little bar I like. <sighs> it's not too far from here. Let's go. All right, man. I'm following you.
<sighs> Let's take Amanda's car. Hey, Jim. I'm going for a drink. Dad, man. shit! I mean, our boat going down the Western Highway. It's... it's been stolen. What? The yacht's been stolen? I, I was trying to sell it. I know you didn't want it sold, but I need money, and they don't want to buy it. They just want to take it. I'm hiding in the head. You're insane! All right, I'm coming. For my boat. All righty, then. Change of plans. My darling boy is in trouble. I'll do what I can to help with that, man. Yeah. The first... Second. Lesson number one. Don't ever Third. Have kids. Third real action of the game. I had kids, I don't think and it's no only 50, would arise over who had 50 minutes in. And who don't. Shit, motherfuckers would be lucky to sit in the bathtub. Shit, things that desperate, huh? Nah, but, you know, shit, I was making a point. Mythologizing self-deprecation. I know it well. Yeah, man, but shit, where the boat at? Little shit's been hijacked. They're somewhere on the Western Highway. Man, ain't you worried? About my boat? Yeah, I am. But you can always buy another boat. Yeah, tell my accountant that. <laughs> you can always get credit for one. But have you come repo it? No, thank you. <laughs> All right, homie. I ain't your homie. Oh, I'm someone shit. you want to impress. Just crash into everything. Whatever. Hey, it's the imported palm trees. Oh! There! There! There it is! That's oh, shit! That's my boat! Your boat's in a fucking hurry, man! Yeah, well, we'll catch him! <laughs> I really want to just do an F-bomb and N-word count for this playthrough. We got a plan? Sure. Once I get us up close, you're the boarding party. More like the falling in traffic party. You'll be fine. If anything happens, I got a piece of the glove box. I'll cover you. Oh, yeah, man, fine. Just fucking fine. So you thought of everything, right? Well, you said you wanted to learn the old way of doing it. Oh, fuck this! Yay! Oh, oh gosh. With little respect, she's a beautiful lady! Get rid of his ass! Oh, they didn't! They fucking shot the engine! Fuck! Hit that dude for good measures. Stop throwing assholes at me! You're screwing with the wrong retiree! Knock it up, you demon prick! I shoot this motherfucker! Hey, you asshole! I just don't try to kill me, man! I ain't you coming! All right, now look for my son. Dad, wait, you're the guy from the dealership. Yeah, and it's a long story, bro. Jimmy! Oh, Kid, watch out for the boom! Fuck! Hold on! Dad, help, help, help! Ah, too close! Put a gun to the top of the car! Son of a bitch, postal car! Hey, get on me, oh, man! Oh, crap! I slip it up! Oh, this is it! This is it! What the fuck is wrong with you, kid? Dad! Don't dad me, you little shit! You better hope huh. she's still seaworthy! Fuck, kid. Ah, this is gonna kill me. Hey! Get me off this damn thing! Hey, get right up the back of that thing! I ain't jumping from here, man! Get close! Fuck! Remind me not to come to you for carrying it advice! That everyone? All right, time to get the boat back. Ooh, now that doesn't sound good. Hey, that's the engine, man. We ain't chasing shit in this thing. Hold it together. Ah, my fucking boat. Hey, it's just a thing. At least you still got a son. Hey, it's a chop shop back there, dog. You drive us there, we can get the ride fit. No, not the boat. I mean, it's a 
positive that he got his son back, but My not the boat. boat. It's just a thing. My boat. Please stop doing that. Listen, I fucked up, okay? I'm not going to lie. That was a really bad judgment call. But shit, Dad, I nearly died. And all you give a shit about is this fucking boat. No, it's not that. It's all we do is scream at each other. No wonder I can't get a job. It's all your fucking fault. Or it's not, but it's partly your fault. I, I mean, I just want to impress you. By selling my boat to some gangbangers? I know it sounds dumb when you put it like that, but all you do is daydream or get angry. Look, I love you, Jimmy, but you're an asshole. And right now, with my boat disappearing over the horizon, that's all I can see. Frankly, would you do me a favor and give this kid a ride home after he fix this thing? I want to headbutt the road in peace. Oh, great! Leave me with the home invader! I'll get it done, dog. No problem. Dad! Enough. All right? Enough! Franklin, do me a favor. Call me a taxi, will you? No problem. Hey, I need a cab as soon as you can send one. Los Santos Customs, by the airport. All right, thanks. Thanks, man. Hey, so you uh do much yachting? Not anymore. No, I don't. Before, <laughs> I mean, man. No, no, not really. This little shit stays in his room all day, and I don't have any other people to go with, you know? I like looking at it. Looking? Yeah. You know, I come down to the marina, sit on the dock, pour myself a drink, and look at her. Jacqueline. Did it clear my head, you know? Let me dream. Hey, this is the place up here. I know this dude, man. His name Hal. He gonna look after me. All right, take what's in my pocket, a couple thousand bucks. That'll cover it, right? So you sure you're good? Yeah, I got this. All right. Ooh, uh, I'm gonna come up front. Get out and walk around. It's okay, I can just climb over. Look, man, I'm gonna get the ride fixed, man. They dropped it back off at your house along with this dude. It's all good, though, man. You go and get your head right, all right? All right, listen, thanks for today. I appreciate it. You stop back out to the house, we'll talk. Ugh, you see? Show, sure, man. Hey, sorry we didn't get your boat, man. Yeah. Come on, man. Let's trick this whip, homie. Hmm. Stupid kid. Yeah, we won't stop until we're on every corner in Los Santos, Liberty City, and every other major metropolitan. Are we gonna trick this whip or what? Still need to get you out for one of the races, Franklin. See if you drive as fast as you talk. There you Recondition. go. Fix. Sweet. This wagon gonna be sick, homie. We lobbied for deregulation, free sale, credit cards, banking, brokerage. I'm gonna take you home now. It's Franklin, right? Yeah, Franklin. All the credit for our guy. The home invader. You know what? Call me what you like, man. Yeah, I, I, you know, I, I mean, sure. Jimmy, ain't he? Or James? Jimmy. Or just like, Jizzle? <laughs> nah, man, I'll just stick with Jimmy, homie. So, uh, what's the deal, man? Huh? You and my old man? I see you at the dealership. And someone steals my whip. And Papa's all like, he's been down there to talk to you guys. Your pops did more than talk. What'd he do? Look, man, if he ain't tell you, I ain't gonna tell you. But I lost my fucking job, and I thought maybe he could help me find a new one. Dude, my dad is retired. Like, fully? Like, his only marketable skills are watching TV and daytime drinking. <sighs> man, look, I don't know, homie. He seems okay to me. Shit, he saved your ass. You saved my ass. Nah, nah, man. Well, well, maybe we good together, you know? Like, maybe we can get shit done we couldn't do separate. If it keeps him out of the house, that's cool by me. Yeah, well, we'll see. Look, I'm sorry my dad lost to your job. It's hard out there. Tough. I mean, I'm employmentally challenged at the moment. Oh, you got fired, dude. Damn, that's rough. Not fired as such. I, I didn't get a job. I've been there, homie. You've been putting them resumes out there, but no one's hiring, huh? No, I, uh, I didn't get a job. I've never had a job. It feels like hard work. Life, the days just kind of disappear. Hey, you play Righteous Slaughter? Nah, not since the first couple. 
Okay. David Richards told a reporter that his grandfather claimed to have destroyed a confession letter in the weeks before his death. Mr. Richards Sr. passed away last year at the age of 103. His son, Solomon Richards, has run the family studio since 1978 and told reporters he knew nothing beyond the fact Solomon his son was a moron and his father was delusional. Idiotic news. The number one industry in Los Santos after plastic surgery and therapy is crying foul. The local paparazzi union says that high-resolution camera phones are putting them out of business. Street photographer, union rep, Tyler Hughes. Any jerk with a camera phone can make money invading the privacy of celebrities. It's really hurting our hard-working paparazzi. So I hear this work with Harassing celebrities oh to the brink of death. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. It's time for some yard classic. Yo, so like, since we're both unemployed, like, we could run together, you know? Yeah, I think about it, homie. Or, or we could just, like, shop it, you know? Play darts or get our drink on, strip clubs. Come on, dude, I get real crazy. Yeah, I got your number, shit, I need it, man, but, uh... Hey, hey you know what? Man, go easy on your pops, dog. all right? All right, church. <laughs> exactly, man. My brother from another mother. I mean, I, I hope so, because my mom was kind of a skank back in the day. See ya. Yeah, whatever, homie. Peace.